If you serve patients who are on Medicare Part D or Medicare Advantage plans, you should know that there are big changes coming for your patients in 2025. Joining us today is Sarah Anderson, PharmaD, Senior Director of Clinical Resources and Programming for the National MS Society, who will help us learn more. Can you give us some background regarding the important changes coming to Medicare in 2025 and what is changing from the past year in 2024? Yeah, so the upcoming changes uh, relate back to the Inflation Reduction Act, which is one of the most consequential healthcare laws since the Affordable Care Act was signed into law and the biggest improvement to Medicare since the passage of Medicare Part D in 2003. So in 2024, Medicare Part D enrollees out-of-pocket costs were typically capped at about $3,300 to $3,800 annually when they, once they reach the catastrophic coverage phase. Beginning January 1st of 2025, the IRA caps annual out-of-pocket costs for Part D beneficiaries at $2,000. So once an individual reaches this limit, they will pay nothing out of pocket for the rest of the year. This cap only applies to Part D drugs, so those oral and self-administered therapies um, that people take at home, and it does not apply to Part B drugs, which are uh, medications typically that you would get in a clinic setting or infusible infusion center or other medical facility. This new out-of-pocket cap would provide a huge relief for many people living with MS. So what does the new Medicare prescription payment plan look like? Yeah, so beginning in January of 2025, all Medicare prescription drug plans, so all Medicare Part D plans, which in includes Medicare Advantage plans that offer Part D, um, must offer Part D enrollees the option to pay out-of-pocket prescription drug costs in the form of monthly payments instead of all at once at the pharmacy upon receiving a prescription. And this program is called the Medicare Prescription Payment Plan. Which of your patients will benefit most from this new plan? Yeah, so this plan will be most helpful for individuals with high prescription drug costs earlier in the plan year um, by allowing them to spread out those expenses over the course of the plan year. Do individuals need to opt into this plan? Yes, great question. So this is an optional program and it does require someone to opt in and sign up for the plan. So Medicare Part D enrollees, can opt into the Medicare prescription payment plan during Medicare open enrollment, which is October 15th through December 7th of this year, 2024, um, as well as throughout the plan year. So if they're not on a Part D medication at the current time and they, and they happen to become on one uh, sometime in 2025, they can opt in and sign up for that program at that time as well. Is this a medication discount program? No, another great question. Uh, so this is not a medication discount program. Instead, it helps enrollees by allowing them to spread out the cost of their Part D prescriptions over a longer period of time. So depending on people's personal circumstances and the medications that they're on, this program may or may not be beneficial for them. How do individuals enroll in the Medicare prescription payment plan? An individual can enroll via several options. They can enroll online through their Part D sponsor's website. Uh, they can enroll by mailing in an election request form. Um, and they also can enroll by telephone. And all the information of how to enroll can be found at Medicare.gov website. How will the medication payment process work for Part D medications if an individual chooses to enroll in the Medicare prescription payment plan? So participants will be able to pick the date for their payments and will be able to pay by credit card, debit card, electronic fund transfer, or by check. Um, and so again, those will be monthly payments. So instead of paying one 
total fee at the pharmacy upon picking up the prescription, that fee will be split up into monthly payments and they can choose the date um, of the month that they would like that uh, them to be billed on. Will individuals be able to enroll in the plan at their local pharmacy? Another great question. Uh, no. So in 2025, individuals will not be able to enroll at the pharmacy counter. Um, also, pharmacy staff are not obligated to provide counseling or information on this plan either. So an individual can elect to participate in the plan at any time during the plan year. But for individuals taking more expensive Part D drugs, it is more beneficial, as we previously stated, um, to enroll early so payments can be spread over a longer period of time. Enrollees have the ability to start, stop, and restart the plan through the end of the plan year. An individual can also choose to end their participation in the plan before the end of the plan year, but will still owe the Part D sponsor for any incurred costs. Um, and again, they, yep, they cannot enroll at their at their local pharmacy at the pharmacy counter, but would need to um, enroll online through their Medicare sponsor or by telephone, um, et cetera. Can you give us an example of how the plan might work? Sure. So let's say an individual reaches the $2,000 maximum out of pocket right away in January 2025 at the start of the plan year. The individual would then pay $166.67 per month instead of the $2,000 all up front right away in January. So the first month's payment is calculated by dividing the maximum out of pocket by 12 months. And then subsequent payments are recalculated each month based on the re remaining months in the year and the unpaid balance. What resource uh, can healthcare providers point their patients to? Uh, should their patients come to them with questions on this topic? Yeah, please encourage them to contact the National Multiple Sclerosis Society's navigators for assistance in reviewing their plan options during the annual Medicare open enrollment period. Um, they can be contacted by phone at one 800 344 Four eight six seven, or by email at contact us nmss at nmss.org. Um, you also can visit the website that has additional information on our navigator program and contact information listed there at nationalmssociety.org slash navigator. So additional resources uh, that folks can learn more about the Medicare prescription payment plan can be found in the additional resources sections attached to uh, this recording.